Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for April the 16th through to the 30th. So it is a general reading Leo, just take what feels right and leave the rest. You are always the master of your own energy and these readings are always potential energies. You always have the choice to step into them or not and take on something or not. So let's see what's coming up for you, Leo. And if this reading does really resonate, there will be an extended reading. The link is in the description box below. We'll talk about that a bit later. But we have Cup Prince Pisces Chariot coming in. Interesting. Okay. So... I do feel like you are overcoming something emotionally here and there's an emotional maturity occurring and it could be to do with uh, creativity but it can also be to do with what I'm getting more is uh, a push to put yourself out there in the world and looking at how your emotions have played a part in that um, kind of being uh, something is maturing in order to shine in your life and Sometimes we can say, look, maybe there was some uh, unformed emotions around that and that is what's actually being activated, your emotional response to it, how you feel about it, really getting clear on that and so be able to push forward and be motivated that way. Wow, we also have Wanda King Leo Crown. Beautiful. And we have Eight Cup Neptune Pisces. So a lot of Pisces coming in as well next to you, Leo, and Neptune. And Neptune like gets on gets on well with Leo. Neptune works well with Leo and Pisces. So that's a really nice energy to come through as well because it is a sense that uh it's fire meets water. It's dealing with a lot of emotional depth. It could be um, stirring up and drawing a lot of creativity uh, up from you, but it's letting go of something that you no longer need that has maybe been it's showing me uh, kind of like emotionally a bit toxic, a bit murky, something from the past that perhaps was hard to define what that was. And it was holding this, it was attached to this energy here of the prince, the cut prince. So it was attached to an energy that was stopping you from moving forward into something, into uh, a more successful overall vision of what it is that you're trying to create here with this wand king this is the leader stepping in the leo crown stepping into your own authority going this is my vision i'm going to create it but it felt like something was really holding you back i keep getting like the the prince the cut prince kind of move forward and something from these murky depths are just pulling it back going no 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 you're not moving forward you're staying where you are you're not developing you're not growing and uh, so it Right next to this Leo crown, this energy is coming in and it's fantastic that it's your energy, Leo. It's coming in and going, I am taking this cut prints with me and yanking it back. And so this, um, it's reclaiming an emotional part of yourself, reclaiming and acknowledging some emotions that have been, like I said, connected to a murkiness, a relationship of the past. It may have been related to a lack of boundaries as well or, yeah, a lack of boundaries is kind of what I'm getting. <clears throat> Sorry. So, yeah, I do feel like just basically overall what I'm getting is that emotionally there's been a, to a clearing out of an emotion that is going to step you into this energy of success. So <laughs> it's... um. Yeah, it's really fantastic energy. And I do get that it it's all working well together. It's all working well. Uh, it's uh, got a lot to do with being playful, a lot to do with children, a lot to do with creativity as well. All those beautiful Leo kind of qualities are coming through and kind of reclaiming that that energy of yours so there is a sense of you reclaiming something, pulling something back and going, no, this is mine and letting the murk go. So let's see what else is coming through for you, Leo. 
the Eight of Cups again. So they're reiterating this. It, it's really important to let something go that has not been fulfilling you. It's come in twice now. So it's come in so strongly and there's this real push and you feel, might be feeling the push now to let that go and to really step into something. The King of Pentacles, the reason it may be hard to let it go might be because of stability, might be because of a commitment that you have. And so that is kind of... Uh, it might be to do with money as well and career. So we'll see what else is coming in the Page of Swords. But again, a, another page is coming through. So it's saying there is all this learning coming to you, There's all this information coming to you. There's these new skills, everything that you need in order to step into this is is opening up for you now. So with the Page of Swords, it might be in your conscious mind the sense that you need to be learning new skills or you might be listening and waiting for news or you're waiting, you're learning, learning, learning a lot. This can be about education, like wanting to go and study and uh, learn more, but it could be also just a lot of information coming at you. But I do feel like there's this sense that you – uh, wanting to find the solution to moving forward here. And these two pages that are coming through are uh, holding the key to that as well. Look at at the bottom, the star card. And that's what I love, the star card. Um, this is wishes coming true, Leo. And this is a beautiful Aquarian energy, which is your polar, uh, polar sign. And we've kind of had that discussion uh, recently <laughs> about how if you combine the two polar energies and find that alignment, it can become so strong. And this is replenishment, connecting back to who you truly are, connecting back to your soul and being really, really strongly guided. I feel like you're going to be feeling this push so strongly here, Leo, to get, that you can, and saying you can finally do it this time, you can finally overcome this. And in the recent past, we have the Five of Swords. So there is a conflict in the past, and I do feel like it's connected to this Eight of Cups. There is this could be, uh, yeah, a conflict with other people. It can be with a group. It can just be a petty kind of an argument or a long-standing uh, standoff, <laughs> a long-standing misunderstanding. <laughs> is kind of what I'm getting here. Uh, but it's something that could have been like a grudge or something that's kind of been around for a while. And um, this is just like you're kind of just saying, like, I'm sick of that. I don't want this energy, this conflict and this lack of fulfillment coming through anymore. I'm wanting to step into fulfillment and to what it is that truly fulfills me and I haven't been able to do that I hasn't been able to mature for these reasons this conflict the five of swords can be conflict with people at work it can be conflict with family it can be just an argument with one person uh, and it has had its fallout like I said it's been murky so uh, yeah and it hasn't been fulfilling for you so the nine of wands in the near future yeah, it's time to let that go. It's nearly at the end of the cycle. You, you're just getting so close to releasing the struggle. There is no more struggle and it. it's so close. It's just saying let go of that thing that's become so burdensome to you now. Let it go. And so the Nine of Wands might be saying you need some time just to – really integrate this you might need some time to it's the wounded warrior so i mean this is something you've been fighting for a long time the nine of wands and it might be that you might feel a little bit exhausted you might need to just spend some time to recover your energy in order to because this has been a big fight here uh, but the nine of wands we'll see where it's going to end up here it always says that you're closer than you think and just at the last minute where you feel like you just don't have anything more left to give or you don't feel like you're going to get there, something always comes through and you get there close, faster than you think. So you are presenting as the Ten of Swords, absolutely. So something big has ended and it might even been related to betrayal for some of you with all that Neptune and Pisces energy and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, it could 100% be feeling like with this conflict here, the Five of Swords, that someone has betrayed you. And that is a huge blow to uh, a sense of loyalty, uh, someone that perhaps you thought you could trust or someone that you just don't want to be around this energy anymore. So 
this is kind of where I'm seeing that uh, you might, there is a new dawn with this. You've let something go and very old negative cycle go. And that has been incredibly positive. You're acknowledging that something has ended here. And there is a new dawn. The darkness is rising, all that murk that we were talking about and that emotional murk. But it's also with the sword. So it's been your mind and your emotions together. It's been, like I said, there's been a boundary issue around both of them. It's hard to tell whether it's your head or your emotions, what's going on here with this. But no matter what it is, I do feel like maybe people have been backstabbing you or doing the wrong thing by you or not being as trustful. Um, but this can also just be a cycle of feeling like, yeah, people don't have your back and that people are not the right, Your they're not your people. They're not here for you. They're not here to help you shine. If anything, they're here to try and take that away from you. So that's all being let go of, which is actually really positive. And then... <laughs> We have the Five of Cups in the energy surrounding you. And this is an energy of finally being able to release the past. And it's strongly being encouraged to turn around and see that amidst uh, some loss that had, may have occurred with letting go some of this, uh, there is this really positive, uh, positive movement forward step into the future there are two cups standing still so I'm also getting that this could be someone is stuck in the past it doesn't have to necessarily be you or an energy is stuck in the past with this five of cups there's a loss here around you and I do feel like it is a sense of even when you say goodbye to something and turn away from something that's not fulfilling there can also be loss associated with that just say you're leaving a job that you've been in for like 10 years or however long, even though like it might have provided some kind of stability, maybe you outgrew it, maybe you got bored. When you leave it, there's still going to be people there that you liked or, you know, things like that. That's just an example. It can be anything, but there is a sense that um, I'm just getting very strongly someone is stuck in the past. So whilst you might be ready to move on and step into this new energy and overcome this, there might be this person that is connected to this murkiness and this conflict that doesn't see that and is still remains stuck in the past. So that's also important. The Eight of Pentacles, hopes and fears. And yeah, that's why I kind of getting it is around work as well or career for some of you. But it's like you just want to get down to it. You just want to get down and do your thing. You don't want to have to be bothered with all that horrible stuff, all that murkiness. You just want to be able to focus and achieve what it is that you're wanting to achieve and bring in here because you are have got that sense that something divine is kind of guiding you and it's like you can't be carrying around all this negative vibrational energy in order to step into that. So I'm just like I'm going to work really hard at this and I just don't want to be uh, – you know, I just want to focus in and do my thing and not be affected by other people's negativity. And then, wow, we have the judgment and then the two cross, the two tens, the Roman numerals. So a double ending has occurred here. It's a very powerful ending. And with that comes the rebirth. And the judgment energy is so powerful because there's the heralding of the new dawn. There's the heralding of that new era that is coming in that you may or may not be feeling right at this moment, but it is coming and it is releasing all this stuff that's come up from the past, all this murkiness and just letting it go and stepping into the new, heralding a new era, and with that comes the star card. Uh, and it's kind of saying, I feel like for some of you, it might be making an announcement. Uh, for some of you, it might be actually having to say, yeah, making an announcement. This can be like saying, I'm leaving or I'm I'm doing this or whatever it is. But Or, yeah, I do feel like you might be kind of proclaiming to the world, I'm stepping into this, whether it's just you personally to yourself or who your spirit guides or whether it's you just saying this is what I'm doing. But there is just a sense that for some of you, not all of you, you might want to really, there's an announcement attached to this. And wow, look at it, the bottom of the deck, the two of wands, picking something up and leaving something behind. So you so are being so encouraged to do that 
Leo. Oh, my goodness. And look at this. You've got the world in your hands. You've got a higher perspective. You're starting something new. It's feeling really good. It's fire because it's wands energy. So feeling motivated, stepping back into what it is that you want to be doing. It can be a lot to do with regaining health as well, Leo, that a lot of these murky energies could have caused a lot of uh, stress or illness uh, and just affected you emotionally, negatively, could have uh, really affected your energy levels. And this, I feel like you're feeling energized again and feeling motivated again, feeling like you're wanting to step into something, start something new. And so, yeah, I mean, I love that that Neptune energy is coming in because it it's something that, like I said, works so strongly with you that it's really, really encouraging you to do this. So I think that you're going to feel the push. You definitely will if this is something that's been around for a while and it's kind of like been waiting for the right timing or however it's presented. The judgment comes with a rebirth as well. It's just a beautiful energy to come through. Wow. Okay, so we've got a few positive affirmations here. What We've got five coming through for you and look at what the first one says. I can release the past and forgive everyone. Wow. I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free and I am free to move into new glorious experiences. And that's actually really important. That's something I forgot to uh, mention with this lovely Piscean Neptunian energy is the spirit of forgiveness and letting go of the past and really understanding that all really the most important thing that does is set yourself free. So that is coming in loud and clear. Only because it's saying they're pushing, energy is going, it's time to move forward now, Leo. It's time to step into this, time to reclaim your beautiful Leo crown. Every thought I think is creating my future. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think, and I believe I have unlimited choice about what I think. I choose, I balance harmony. Oh, sorry. It says, I choose balance, harmony, and peace, and I express it in my life. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, uh, a lot of really interesting messages here. I am flexible and flowing. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortless, effortlessly. Oh. Okay, so, I mean, that's why the, this lovely watery energy of Neptune and Pisces allows things to flow. And I don't feel like you're getting stuck here at all. It, it could be just the, the, the last release of this uh, is why you've kind of been so strongly encouraged. But that line about stepping into more of who you are, that's exactly what's coming in here. So there's an expanded sense of self coming through. I prosper wherever I turn. I now see opportunities for abundance every, everywhere I am. Oh, I always say this one wrong. I now see opportunities for abundance everywhere. I am blessed and prospered. And a lot of the cards are talking about opportunities coming in. And that's why I think that, uh, you know, there's a herald, heralding of this new era, this new dawn for you, Leo, or a new energy at least that's coming through that is bringing opportunity with it. And if you're kind of connected to the past, this old murky energy from the past, it's going to be harder to step into that and take that. It says, I have the perfect living space. I see myself living in a wonderful place. It fulfills all my needs and desires. It's in a beautiful location at a, and at a price I can afford. So I think, you know, for some of you, this could be around home. Uh, and that where you're living also seems to be important energy as well coming through there for you, Leo. So I'm going to pull an animal spirit energy and a charm to finish off the reading. So let's see what Leo is working with. And then we're going to take it over to the extended reading. That's where we'll pull out more information. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love the panther. Beautiful. Very much very fierce. This is a fire energy. That upward pointing triangle is the element of fire. I love it. it's just the feline. It's like the shadow side of Leo, but it's like it's like uh, this fierceness is coming through. Going, I'm not taking that anymore. This strength. It's like no, and 
you can't do this. I'm, I'm just, just summoning this power from the shadow. And it's the power that previously might have actually held you small. And this time you're gathering this and making it big into a big version of you that works for you. It's like working with the shadow side, working with uh, those energies that, yeah, previously have been held small or oppressed. And uh, yeah, it's finding your voice, Leo, for a lot of you, finally sticking up for yourself, standing up for what's right for you, sticking up for what's best for you and reclaiming. Again, it's this fierce reclaiming. So eyes on the prize. It's very much you're not doing that to me anymore. That energy has no power over me anymore, which is really fantastic. So I do feel like uh, some of you could be giving someone a bit of a serve vocally because, yeah, uh, th that could come up. But there is also this need to just defend your space as well is what I'm getting with that because that we had that lack of boundaries here and just saying, no, this is my reality, this is how I think, this is how I feel, back off kind of energy. So, yeah, there, there's a lot of self-protection coming in because you know that you need that in order to move forward as well. So there's this beautiful strength both in the the fact that we have the sun side of it, the external side, and also the shadow side, both equally in strength. So equal in strength. So I think you're going to be feeling very powerful as well, Leo. So let's see. Let's pull a charm to finish off the reading. What do we have? We have, oh, wow, a beautiful turtle. And I love how like this has been lovely mix of water and fire. And they're really working well together. Sometimes the water and fire doesn't work so well and it hasn't. This is looking at a part where it hasn't in the past. And I keep being shown this murky well of like sludgy emotion, <laughs> toxic kind of emotion. And this thing with the turtle is that the turtle comes home to the ocean and Neptune is the king of the, the ocean, the god of the ocean. And it's about coming back to, if we see the salt, the star coming back to the flow, coming back to, coming home again. Uh, so it is a sense of coming back to yourself, returning. There's a homecoming coming in, a joyful homecoming. And the thing with the turtle is it does have to go over quite a precarious journey over the sand to get to the ocean. So it's acknowledging the struggle and where you've come from in order to get to where you are. But it's coming back. The ocean can also represent your soul, coming back to your soul energy. And so, yeah, I mean, it's such a beautiful energy and it's kind of acknowledging your soul journey on a, on a higher level here, Leo, that there's a part of you that is coming home that has been kept out in the cold. It's been kept in another area that you are now reclaiming and bringing it back. So it's really, really beautiful. I feel like this is, you know, uh, it's kind of, uh, it feels like it's got a bit of a, a preparation energy for stepping into something and gaining in strength in order to find that positive move forward in order to step into all these opportunities that are coming up here. So that's what it feels like. It's a bit of a detoxing, cleansing process in order to do that, um, sifting out some some negative energies and uh, yeah, so again, that sense of releasing the past is really positive and being able to step into the new. So it's a process, but there's a huge acknowledgement of the soul journey that you've been on and it's beautiful, Leo. So that's it for this part of the reading. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. The link will be in the description box below and I usually tag it to the comment and I'd love it if you come over to that because we always get more information. It's such a beautiful, rich um, energy. We'll clarify what's coming in with this reading. We'll find out, pull more cards, what's coming in the near future and the future beyond and we'll also focus in on career, money, love and relationships and pull some cards specific for that in the extended reading. So the link for that is, like I said, in the description box below. You just click on that and it takes you over to Vimeo. Uh, but if this is where we're leaving each other, Leo, I think it is fantastic reading.
Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time uh, joining me on the channel. And thank you so much for all your likes, subscribes, shares and comments. I really appreciate and love reading them. It also lets YouTube know that you are appreciating this, con this content as well. And take care, Leo. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.